Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and I'm back with another video, another tutorial video to show you guys how to replace your ID number password when it gets expired, or you cannot get logged into OURVLE, or you cannot get, you cannot log into SAS. You just cannot log on to the school website, and I'm going to show you how to reset your password so you don't have that problem. You need it to reset your password and ensure your password is not expired for examinations because there are a lot of online examinations going on or there may be online quiz so make sure your password is not expired if it's expired you need to replace it and this is a video that shows you how to do that so I'm gonna start by opening Google so I already have Google opened so you open your Google web browser your web page and then we're going to go on SAS so that's UI SAS I'm going to type in UI SAS and you can see came comes up right here and SAS is basically student administrative service so they're responsible for this is where you go for your timetable this is where you go for to pay your the amount of tuition you have left this is where you go for to look for your transcript this is where you go to look for lots of things if you're registered for courses this is where you go to register for your courses because you have to get registered before you can be enrolled in the school system so this is the website the student administration systems or services that you use to do all of these things all right so here this is the first one that comes up i'm going to click on you can click on mona student administration system or you can just click on user login so whichever works for you both of them take you to the same place but let me just show you guys where this one takes me take you to a bunch of other options so here it takes me all of here the administration portal the admission portal it takes me to other places like how to change your majors, undergrad status, rec status letter request form, all of that. And I'll go here into enter secure area. This is basically the user login area. So as you can see that, it takes me to this place, right? So let me just go back and show you if I press on user login, that's where it's, it'll take me right or directly to the page that I want to go. So I'm going to press on user login now. I'll just show you guys the option that what this has. Press on user login and it takes me directly to the student admission systems page and this page will come up and you have your ID number here, you have your password here and you'd press login. However, if your password is expired, you may be kicked out and you can't log in. So how do you get back this password? So right here, right above this bar here, your ID number and your password, you see live support. So right above it, you're going to see it right here. So live support is offline now because I'm doing this video really early in the morning. So nobody's at work, you know. But if you're ready and they're available, I think they're available from about, probably about 8 a.m. in the morning on weekdays to up to probably 6, 4 to 6 in the evening. I'm not very sure. Don't quote me on that. But they're available for quite some time. And when it's exam time, they are more available. So they probably work on, or probably probably work longer hours when it's exam time so i'm gonna show you guys so you just click on this the support that i told you right above the sas login and it opens a new page for you so you open this big new page that is called the university of the west of is mona powered by the help desk i call it the help desk so this is where you'll be talking to an agent from MITS, M-I-T-S. These are the ones that are responsible for putting Microsoft on your computer. They're responsible for regenerating your password. They're responsible for like the tech stuff at school. So they'll put on Microsoft Word for you on your computer for you and Excel and so on. The office for free of cost if you're an l world student, so on and so forth. They'll give you other things that text stuff just basically text of like an antivirus all of that how to log into your 
my Mona, they replace your password for all of that as well. So the page is open and they're telling me that there's currently unavailable because you know as I said it's after hours but you notice the department is the mates and if they were online you'd see online here then you would go ahead by putting in your full name and then you would put in your email address I put in my email address or whichever email address I want to put well the school email address and I put in the subject of my query or whatever that I want them to do so I want them to replace my my Mona uh, email password or I want them to replace uh, my password for my OURP or my SAS account so I just put replacing password in the subject and the message I type hello good day my my password is expired I can't log into OURBLE or I can't log into SAS or every time I try to log in it keeps telling me that uh, I can't log in or this something is invalid so I type the message here and after typing the message I just put, usually put my ID number at the end so I put my 6200 followed by the rest of my ID number ID number so and so and so when they're ready to deal with the query they don't have to re-ask me what my id number is because they'll have to ask you what your id number is just to reset the password for that id number so i press send <coughs> and after send you get an agent speak with you in a short while so they're usually a very fast service so if something comes up it might be slower than normal but they're usually pretty fast and um yeah they you just give them the query they ask for your password they ask for your email address or this email address that you have on the school system not just a, a random email address your email address that you signed up with you before or your school email address and they'll send the new regenerated password to you so when they you check your uh your email address you'll see this new regenerated password you just quickly log into SAS go back to the SAS page and log in with your ID number log in with the password the new regenerated password it's a random password so it's not usually your name or your date of birth what you want to do it's a randomly computer generated password it's symbols and all of that so basically you just try it and you see if it works and then you tell them that it works and then that's the end of that if you do want a personalized password so you can remember like if you like your password as your specific name or your your the pet's name and your date of birth to something else or the date of your wedding all of that you have to go into the myths and they'll generate the personalized password for you so you have to go in physically but if you're doing it online you'd get a you'd get a what do you call it a randomly generated password and that's basically it you just tell them thanks in the chat and it works and so on and so forth and you're good to go so that's basically how and you just click the page off and that's basically how you regenerate your password using the SAS help the system so if you have problems logging into or you are really SAS logging into your admission portal just reach out to them and they'll do that for you and that's all for this video check out check out our other tutorial video on how to apply to UA, how to register how to use OURBLE how to use BBC which is an online blackboard platform how to use all the things how to sign up for your payment plans how to register for your courses how to access your timetable all of that how to pay your tuition online we have all those videos for you and Follow us on Instagram at DN underscore medical series and until next time don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share and subscribe. So see you soon. Bye.